Thanks, Nisa, and welcome to OnChain Reaction. I'm Philip Gradwell, the Chief Economist at Chainalysis, here to take you through what's been happening on the blockchain this week. To start with some context, the Bitcoin price has declined this week, is now fluctuating around $9,000. There was an interesting on-chain event this week, where on the 20th of May, some Bitcoin that have not moved since February 2009 finally moved. And the market reacted with prices falling because people thought that Bitcoin belonged to Satoshi. Now Satoshi owns between one and two million Bitcoin. So if Satoshi weren't to move their Bitcoin, that would have a big effect on the market. However, myself and many others suggest that it isn't Satoshi moving that Bitcoin. The blockchain analysis doesn't support that, but it still gave the market a shock. And there's good reason for that. Old Bitcoin doesn't move that often. If we go back to 2018, we actually see that just 2.7% of all of the Bitcoin sent came from wallets that held the Bitcoin for more than a year. So most of the Bitcoin that's moving is actually younger than a year. So to see Bitcoin moving that's over 10 years old, well, that's a really exceptional event. But back to our core metrics. Looking here at the amount of Bitcoin flowing into exchanges. Well, it looks like fewer people are selling. There's less Bitcoin coming into exchanges over the last couple of weeks than actually the 200 day average. So inflows into exchanges are really down. But despite these low inflows, the amount of Bitcoin that's being held in exchange balances, we actually think it's increasing. And that's going to increase the sell pressure because there's now more Bitcoin sitting on exchanges looking for buyers and not being bought and taken off. There is some uncertainty to that. If you look at the chart here, the solid blue line, that tells us about the, balance, the change in balance that we know has happened. We know a certain amount of Bitcoin has come into an exchange and we know a certain amount has left because it's already in the hands of other cryptocurrency businesses, other exchanges. Then this blue shaded area, that's Bitcoin that came into the exchange but has moved into an intermediate address. That can either be an internal address within the exchange, such as their cold wallet, but it could also be you know, an individual holding the Bitcoin off the exchange or indeed another exchange. So all of the Bitcoin that we think is internal is actually external. Well, then the change in balance is at the bottom of that shaded area. But even at that extreme assumption, if you were to look at the 14 day average, you would only see a thousand Bitcoin coming off the balances of exchanges on average every day for the last two weeks. But actually at the upper bound of that, we're seeing 19,000 Bitcoin coming onto the exchanges every day. So the majority of the weight of that shaded area is actually in positive territory, suggesting the balances have increased. In contrast with Tether, it's actually more likely that, bit, that Tether on exchanges has been decreasing. You can see that because the majority of the shaded area is actually below the zero line in that 14 day average uh, and in the recent week as well. And if Tether is actually being taken off exchanges, well, that's reducing the buy pressure on Bitcoin because people typically use Tether to buy Bitcoin. The flows between exchanges and Bitcoin are also down, particularly the flow of Bitcoin into the derivatives only exchanges. And if we look about flows between regions, well, that's also down. And in particular, flows to North America have declined the most. This is reversing a trend that we've seen over the last few weeks, where actually the flows between both exchanges and between regions has been increasing. Now it's finally started decreasing. There's less Bitcoin flowing between different types of cryptocurrency businesses and between different parts of the world. So overall, while the Bitcoin price is high relative to much of the year to date, the on-chain signals are starting to look bearish. Bitcoin liquidity on exchanges is increasing, but the tether liquidity is decreasing. So it looks like there are more Bitcoin looking to be sold, but not as much tether there to buy it. Of course, tether is not the only pair that Bitcoin is traded for, but I see it as a good signal to the overall health in the market. 
And on-chain flows, you know, they've fallen sharply. It's not as much Bitcoin moving around. In particular, flows to North America have declined, which suggests that the opportunity to make some money in the North American market, which really is the second biggest Bitcoin market in the world, doesn't look so strong. So potentially a bearish outlook from here. 